the Spotify car thing. Do you really need this? Hello there and welcome back to another exciting video. Today in this video, we will be discussing the Spotify car thing, its specifics, how it works and whether it's worth buying or not. We'll get into more details as the video starts, so make sure to stay tuned until the end. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates and videos. That said, let's get started. Spotify hopes to revolutionize how we listen to music and automobiles by allowing us to keep our hands on the wheel and our eyes on the road. The car thing aims to turn your car audio into nothing more than a Bluetooth adapter, allowing Spotify to take center stage and become your primary interface for music and podcasts in your car while keeping your phone in your pocket. Unfortunately, even at $89.99, this slick-looking small device falls short of making a solid case for itself, even as a niche automotive gadget in a world where sophisticated smart gadgets abound. The Spotify car thing is a small lightweight heads-up display that looks a lot like a dedicated GPS. The device's matte finish, charcoal colored box, and huge screen give it a more quality appearance than the $90 price tag suggests. The slim screens mounts to your dashboard, fan, or CD player slot in your car, providing a huge touchscreen for selecting streaming music. The car thing, on the other hand, is not a replacement for your car audio. It only works with Spotify. You can download other programs because there's no internal storage or user interface. It's a specialized automotive audio options just because of it. You don't need one if you don't already use Spotify on a daily basis. It's that simple. It's a teeny tiny thing. Measuring 4.5 inches broad and 2 by 2.5 inches tall and weighs 3.2 ounces. You can utilize voice commands and or more traditional sets of buttons and a front mounted dial in addition to the 3.97 inch 480 x 800 touchscreen. The car thing attaches to the dash or fan of your car and is powered by a 12 fold USB type A card converter. The little magnetic puck mount can be slid into an air conditioning fan or adhere to a flat locations on the dashboard with an adhesive strip. Although having a range of mounting choices is beneficial, none of them appear to be totally secure. The focus is on the touchscreen which despite being designed expressly for the car thing will be familiar to Spotify customers. The Spotify app interface on the car thing is customized to be bright, clear, and easy to read. It's as simple to use as the regular Spotify vehicle interface, but some of the hardware tweaks we'll go over will make it even easier. The screen isn't as silky smooth as we have come to expect from recent smartphones, but it's responsive enough for a gadget you should engage at for lengthy periods of time. You may also chat to your car thing by saying, hey Spotify, followed by your conventional commands like play, pause, and skip if you want to keep your eyes on the road. You may also use Spotify's recommendation system to instruct it to show your playlist, store an album, or even recommend something to you. It reacts to more general queries such as play joyful music or more detailed menu navigations such as display this artist in addition to typical audio device controls. While these commands are beneficial in some situations, they aren't very straightforward. Even Spotify's own help page has some suggestions, but it's not a full list. There are a few physical ways to interact with the car thing as well. There are four preset buttons on the top of the device that you may use to set custom playlists or radio stations by either holding down the button to adjust the preset or by using voice commands to have Spotify do it for you. It's a terrific feature for fuzzy listeners and one of the places where the car thing feels like it separates itself from using a phone directly. You may change playlists instantly by pressing any of the preset buttons, making the trip much shorter than if you use your phone. The car thing also has a dial and a back button on the front. The back button does exactly what it says on the tin. It returns you to the previous screen. When browsing music and podcasts, the dial can be used as a physical alternative to the touchscreen. It can also be used to control the volume of Spotify if you are in the now playing view. However, that dial must interact with your phone, which in turn must communicate with your audio equipment. The dial on your car stereo is considerably more direct and responds very instantly. In comparisons, the dial on the car thing is quite sluggish. However, the dial and button have a pleasant feel to them. They are simple to use and it feels fantastic when pressed. The Spotify car thing, like Spotify's other non-web apps, only work with Spotify premium accounts. The only primary account holder of a Spotify family plan can use it. Again, this device is mostly aimed at Spotify users who utilize the service as their primary music streaming provider, but it is still a significant flaw. For this, you'll want to take a seat, spe specifically in your automobile, when you initially turn on the car thing. It displays a QR code that you can scan with your smartphone to, to begin the setup procedure on the Spotify app. The first setup is really simple, and it pairs with your phone automatically after that. The car thing connects to your phone as it will every time you use it. 
and then searches for a Bluetooth connection to your car stereo. The car thing aims to control music on your iOS or Android phone and play music from that phone or tablet, not from whenever your Spotify account is playing. While you don't need a Bluetooth device in your car to use this, the music will still come from your phone in some form. You might be able to utilize it if you listen to all of your music on your phone even while you're not in the car. Many people's hopes of using the car thing on their computer in addition to in the car were shattered as a result of this. It automatically syncs with a single device and isn't designed to switch between different profiles or devices. Some users were able to connect it to their computer and use it to operate Spotify from there. But as soon as it was disconnected, it reconnected with their phone. It's really too time-consuming to pair it every time. Even in the car, the stiff design imposes significant restrictions. Beyond playing music in the car, phones have a number of automotive-related capabilities such as providing directions and making hands-free call. A Spotify car thinks it's in designed to work with other apps on your phone, so when you need something other than your music from your phone or when someone needs you, that simple interface falls apart. When the touchscreen and voice controls are useful in their limited context, they, they are far cry from the in-dash computer systems that are becoming more common in current automobiles. Despite the device's widespread popularity and peculiar appeal, only a small percentage of individuals will find it beneficial. The car thing is a terrific way to keep your eyes on the road and spend less time fidgeting with your phone if you are a Spotify premium consumer who drives a lot. It might be a nice match if you have an older car with a Bluetooth adapter, but it feels like an over-engineered solution when a less-priced car mount can do the same job. The times it takes to plug the car thing in and install it to your dashboard isn't worth it for most of us. While the device is well-made, its narrow emphasis makes it feel like a hack. For those without access to built-in car to phone interfaces, the car thing doesn't do nearly enough for free for free Spotify subscribers or people who don't use the service as their primary audio streaming platform, especially since there are other products that will allow you to play streaming music from your phone through your car speakers. The touchscreen is convenient, but it is ultimately a luxury. More functional accessories are a better use of your money. Let us know your thoughts on Spotify car thing in the comment section. If you like what you have seen so far, make sure to like, share this video, also subscribe to our channel for more daily updates.